Wow, this is actually so, so cool. I cannot actually believe it. Okay, so Nano Banana can now be integrated into Photoshop and it is much better than Adobe Generative Fill. So I'm gonna show you how we can use this right now. As you can see, we have the prompt bar, I guess the plugin bar right here. And first of all, what I wanna test out is that I'm gonna go ahead and select the whole image and I wanna try to change the mood of the image. So what I will do first is that I will type in, make this uh, an autumn image foggy and with rain and then i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to click submit and let's see what this is going to create for us uh this should take a few seconds not too long but i'm going to show you a few different case studies i'm going to show you how we can actually change the mood of the image how we can add new objects and they actually adapt very well to the environment around, how we can remove objects, how we can change materials, upscale, and then I'll also show you how to download it. Now, as you can see, once this is applied, this is kind of, I mean, the mood is correct and it does add a little bit of clouds and uh, I guess fog as well. Like if we look from, from uh, far away, it does look very good. It has matched the exact mood that I had in mind. However, if we get close to this, you can see that now, this has become a little bit more pixelated. I'm gonna show you how we can upscale this as well. But first of all, let me try also another mood. So for example, let me turn this off and I'm gonna say, make this a uh, winter image with fog. And instead of rain, I will do snow. And let's just give this as well a few more seconds to see how this will adapt to a winter season or a snowy mood. Okay, so this is how it did it. I think it has overdone a little bit with fog. Uh, I'm gonna try and take off the fog and then I will go ahead and resubmit it and let's see what this creates for us. And then after this, I'm gonna go ahead and try to upscale both of these images and let's see what this turns out well in our Photoshop. So this is how it turned out. It actually did a pretty good job with masking all the trees. And uh, I guess the water is not icy, uh, but we could probably even do it on top of it to make those changes. I'm going to show you now how we can go ahead and upscale this, for example. So I will select this. Then I will go to the model and I will just use the upscale. I will take off the prompt completely just in case that doesn't mess things up for us. And I'm going to go ahead and click submit. So let's see how this will look once upscaled. And let's see at what amount this will actually play a role uh, when it comes to clarity. So... This is the before and this is the after. It actually didn't make a huge difference, but it is not too bad. Now, what we can also do is, let's say here we want to add a uh, cottage or um, I guess some sort of cabin. What we can do is we can type in a uh, mountain uh, cabin with wooden logs. And then what we can do is we can also do a different number of variations. So we can do three variations of this just so we have different options. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna click submit, and let's see what uh, the Nano Banana Gemini plugin actually creates for us in Photoshop. I completely messed this up because I had the model of the upscale there. Instead, we want to keep the Gemini 2.5 model and let's see how it actually turns out. Okay, so this is option one. This is blended in quite well. You can see a little bit of, uh, I guess, outlines here, but we can blend that in pretty easily. So this is one, this is two, this is a bit off. Uh, so this is not as good, but I mean, these two are completely fine in my eyes. Obviously it just needs a little bit of masking the outlines. That way we cannot tell it. Uh, what I'm gonna test out here as well is I'm going to test on actually changing the material. So I will just zoom in right here and I will try to change the materials on this facade. For exercise purposes, I will go ahead and not even take into consideration all of the windows. I probably could have like a material ID, but I actually don't have it right now here. Uh, but anyway, I will just keep this selected and I will type in make this wooden or I guess dark wood siding. And then I'm going to keep the variation at one and then I will click submit. Uh, let me actually have this layer select. Maybe that makes a difference. And let's see how this changes the material for us. Okay, wow, this is actually very, very good. I'm actually surprised by how good this is done. As you can see, it even actually kept the windows, which I didn't expect it to keep, which is actually pretty cool. 
Okay, interesting. All right, so now let me try something else. I'm gonna go ahead and use the lasso tool and just select this area. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna type in, um, I guess, let's do add a wooden boat. And let's maybe do three variations and I will click submit. And let's see how it can add a boat here in the foreground for us. Oh, wow. Okay. So this is actually pretty cool. I mean, just imagine how much time this would take to add it manually. It's just insane. I mean, maybe it wouldn't take a lot of time to just add this manually, but adding materials, adding something in the background. I mean, this is just a lot faster. So what we can do is we can also do something like this. And I'm going to type in add a person rowing the boat. I'm actually curious to see what this creates for us. I'm going to keep it at two variations and let's see how this interacts with the whole model. I mean, I doubt that it's going to have a very good result, but I just want to see it try to solve something which is a bit more challenging. Wow. Wow. This is actually so, so cool. I cannot actually believe it. Let's try something else. Let's just uh, draw these little circles here just one by one uh, and then something like this and then i can go ahead and type in let's keep it one variation i'm going to type in add lily pad and then i'm going to click submit and then after this i can maybe go ahead and try to tweak some of the vegetation here or uh, i mean overall we already proved so much on how usable and how good this is so it even added the lily pads this i don't think it has done the best job at so I'm going to turn this off. Uh, however, I just want to test something out. I want to select, for example, uh, this part uh, and let's see how well it can keep the perspective. So let's say I want to add here. I'm going to keep two variations. Let's say I want to add here, add some floral bushes uh, and then let's just go for submit. Let's see how well this actually understands scale and perspective. This is a good test as well, I think. I mean, I'm still amazed by how it actually even changed the water surface here based on uh, where the uh, rowing happened. Okay, so yeah, so this is a little bit off. Maybe there is not enough pixels, uh, but I mean, do you get the idea? Anyway, I mean, this image uh, went, let me just show you in just a second. Okay, so this image went from this, which is a completely different mood, and it went to this in just a few seconds. And honestly, in my opinion, it has a lot more storytelling and it actually looks a bit cooler in my eyes. So uh, if you wanna be able to recreate and use this tool, I'm gonna show you how you can actually go ahead and get it. So if you go on Gumroad, I'll leave the link in the description. You can see that this costs $9. So you basically what you wanna do is you're gonna go ahead and buy this. Uh, obviously these $9 are is basically free for the amount of time that it saves you. By the way, I'm not sponsored by this or anything. However, uh, if you go ahead then, once you buy it, you will see a paid shop as something like this and then you can download it and then once you download it you are going to go ahead and just double click on the file and that should absolutely add it on to your photoshop in just a few seconds after accessing the creative cloud so let me know what you think if you want to see another video where i test out nano banana on its native google ai app go ahead and watch the video right here